Hey everybody, it is uh, the next morning. Uh, this is Cozumel Day. Day kind of, three. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the background there. We're getting ready to head out there and have a wonderful day. But first, we gotta go and get some breakfast. So off the caban as we go. We have to be at our check-in point at 8.30 for the adventure tours. Yes, so we'll show you all that in a little bit. for breakfast what'd you get today it's like blueberry waffles hash browns bacon and a little iced loaf mm -hmm. sound good mm -hmm. all right mom what'd you end up getting vegetable omelet yep bacon got Mickey waffles quiche. that's gonna be a syrup and then strawberry whipped cream all right you got eggs and hash browns and a muffin and bacon bacon what is this um french toast uh -huh, with strawberry <laughs> nice mm -hmm. I got the new stuff today. They had uh, scrambled eggs with tomatoes and Swiss cheese. And then they had a turkey and cheese croissant with all the normal fixings. So that's what we have for breakfast as we go to Cosmo. It's always been a debate about whether or not to eat a Mickey waffle with the ears first or just go in with his face. But let's get some good syrup on it. I am an eat the ear first kind of girl. Ah, it doesn't want to come apart. Ah, oh, there we go. And I lost it. Mm. So good. Super yummy waffle. Gotta get the Mickey waffles and all the different toppings. What a place can you get strawberries and blueberries and peanut butter and caramel and chocolate? All in one place. Going in for another bite. We've got the pilot ship coming to bring us into port now. As you can see, we're a heck of a lot closer. Looks like one other cruise ship in port as well today. It looks like a carnival. But we're coming in. We're <laughs> almost fully docked. Now we're on their little pier and we got our pier. We have made it to Cozumel. We're coming in right now on our dock. But it looks like we get off at Punta Langosta. And this is what it looks like out here. Lots of cool stuff. So we're gonna see what Cozumel has today. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be exciting. You go all the way down to the end there. Pretty cool. All right, we are on the pier. Following our tour group, we are Chippendale for the um, beach break. Give us a cool little sticker right here on the shirt. So they know that you are part of the group. Stay with your group. They're gonna go and load us into buses and take us to our fun little Cozumel beach break. It's really hot. It feels like it's 100. <laughs> Global warming, yes, I think. Bienvenidos. There we go. Cozumel. They have a lot of neat little shops here. Hand crafts and t-shirts. We got fire over here. Look at that fire. Fire, there's fire. That's really cool. Oh yeah, we like it. Oh, I see Grogu. <laughs> Grogu! That was a big step. Oh. 
Here's the way that we go. Is everything we get to have fun with today? All right, look at that. We are out here in the water. Kids going, spraying themselves around. Out there, and then you can just dock your catamaran right there. Just bam. Gotta watch out. Don't swim out too far. Catamaran will take you out. Or you just swim under. I don't know if I'd, I'd trust that at all. <laughs> Here's one of the other pools. You've got a sauna, big pool area. There's an area over there to lay down in it. Find the kids area, and then the slides. Unfortunately, only one was working today, but when both go, it seems like it'd be a pretty fun thing. Underwater hand sand, go. Mama's chicken for it, she won't go out. I'm sure I want to cross that. Don't hurt yourself. Have fun. Rock and roll, man. Come on. There he goes. Run, man, run! Not like an inchworm. Go to the next platform, bud. It's right over there. Me across the first one. On to the next. See how the boys are doing. Nope, oh, one just made it. Be down. Right down, go! slide into the water. Let's have fun. That was fun. <laughs> now we got someone to go to the other side. No one tells you how hard it is to swim in a life jacket. It's pretty challenging. You know, I've got to work out just coming out here. I think I'll probably do this once. Let the boys get tired. Go back swimming in the nice part. Get some really nice food. We got a whole buffet here. Um, domestic imported drinks are all free. So it's just a great fun time. Come all the way over there. Came over there. Come on this part. Almost done. The wheel is the final part. That means you did it. I am now filming you. You can do it, man. Get 
Dang! <laughs> that didn't last long. All right, buddy, I'm filming you. Do your best. When you go, go, go! Oh, he's gone. What, what you're supposed to do is stand up on that part and then like drop on your buttons, like. Watch your glasses. Oh, that was too gentle. Too gentle. You have to do it more wipeout style. Ready? Flop on your butt and go. Good job. Go, mama. Try to flop. <laughs> Good job, Mama! Yay! Now let me just tell you, that uh, beach break where you're going to go on all the obstacles, super tiring, especially someone who's in their 40s. Um, even the younger kids were, they were getting around pretty good, but they were tired too. But all the uh, older guys that I talked to were like, yeah, I'm done after this, man. It's time to go get some food and cervezas. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Just wanted to show you the view from where we're sitting for lunch. You can see parasailers way out there, palm trees, a little bit of clouds. Right about noon time in Cozumel. As you can see, nothing but palm trees. Cloudy skies, a little bit of a breeze. Everybody having fun. Out there you got the banana boats going. I saw a hot dog boat earlier, that was kind of funny. And you got parasailing. Jesse's way over there and lots of grass. Hi right, man, what was your favorite part of the Cozumel beach break? Um, the, my favorite thing was the sea because I got to swim with um, fishes. I saw like six like tiny white fish but like this big. And I saw one swim maybe to my dad. Like that was like this big and he had like a blue stripe down the top of his back in the front. And I also like swimming around and I got to see a lot of blue coral and stuff. That was pretty cool. Yeah, how clear was that water? Um, really clear that at the beginning, I can see between, and I can actually see down below. But as the day went on, I didn't see as much, but my, but my goggles helped with it. That's cool. Thank you. All right, what was your favorite part of Cozumel today? I like swimming with, with the fishies. Like swimming with the fishies? Mm hmm Why? Why was that so cool? I like the, I like the loop, calm, kind of cold water, but I also like seeing like, the fishies trying to um, swim away from me. But I, I got really close to them, but yeah, the other two went for me. It was fun. That's cool. And that water was nice and clear, huh? Better than Ocean City, Maryland? A little bit. Now, my favorite part is just being in the ocean, having some fun, spending time with family. That water was crystal clear. The wind was great. Overall, great day. I definitely recommend Cozumel. Do I like Cozumel better than Castaway Key? Nope. Castaway Key is the place. Coming back. Got to get to our ship. There are so many little shops here. We had tons and tons of time. We would go ahead and browse them, but got to get prepped for pirate night tonight on the cruise ship, so we got to get back and take a shower. Heading back to the ship. Disney Magic. It's the smallest ship in their fleet, along with the Wonder. But still pretty big to us. Isn't that a big ship? Mm, I, I feel like a tiny little ant, so now I know why I'm an answer so for the people because we might step in Imagine a like, shit like that crushing you. It'll be pretty scary. Yeah, Disney Cruise Line's great. I definitely recommend it to anybody out there. On the back of our ship, they always have a character. This one is Goofy painting the magic. That's funny. Imagine if Goofy really painted that, how much he'd mess that thing up. Now you might notice these things here that are hooked up to the little fishes that are outside people's doors. This is called fish extenders. And every single cruise that you're on, Disney, Carnival, whatever, um, has a Facebook group. Someone starts it and you can sign up for it and you basically 
tell them, hey, I want to be part of the fish extender group. You put a little hanging bag out there, and it's kind of like a secret Santa thing. People put candies and pencils and stuff in there, and you can get stuff for other families, and they get stuff for you, but it's a nice little fun thing to do if you want to kind of have like a little scavenger hunt thing or a little Halloween thing, and you can see there's a lot of them here. A lot of little bags everywhere. I usually do it on port days. So, a lot of fun. And here's the view out of our porthole. It's just really beautiful. You can see it's just crystal clear blue water. Just amazing. Wow. Calls Mills a nice area. Look at that water. That's crazy. We'll see how many pier runners we have later. Hopefully everyone makes it on board. Yar, it be pirate night. We're gonna go and get some pictures. As you can see, we're all in our pirate duds looking piratey. Off we go to see Pirate Stitch Yar. Yar. Today, he's been better. Yeah, yes. see, he said you have an eye patch just like him. <laughs> I like yours. I like yours. Oh, yeah, I have a hat too. Yeah, we all have hats, but I like your green one better. Um, it's almost coming in. <laughs> So he's been a little so so today. Stitch is always causing trouble. I know. Well, I would cause love. Him. That's why we love Stitch. I have a chance. Yep. <laughs> he's a goofball. That's all right, though. All right. Can we get a picture? Well, hello, Captain Jack Sparrow. Who's this beauty? What's your name? My name is Mary. Nice to meet you. Very beautiful. I may say you're not a gentleman. Very nice. Very pretty. So I have to ask. Do you have to steal anything nice and personal to you? Oh, okay. Can you tell us what you found today? Nope. I did. I did. Actually, I happened to find them because not. I happened to just grab them. There it is. I am. I am. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. These are my two boys. How did you do this? Oh, I think that if you got cut out by a game sword, you got called out. Very bad. Very bad. By a sword. Yeah, very similar. I must be from the tribe. Yes. I have a brother, I've only seen him for 15 years at the Brethren Court. Ah, that's a good one. Nice to meet you. Very nice pirate for you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes! There are like pirates everywhere! There's pirates everywhere. We got Goofy. Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Oh. Uh -huh. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Yay. And look who we have coming this way. Another captain. Captain Hook. Hello. Captain. Here he comes. The man, Mickey. Captain Mickey. I'll high five you. He didn't see it. Captain Mickey. Oh, he does. He, I guess you still have to man the ship or yes. mouse the ship. Yes, he's got to mouse the ship. Which way we're going once we get out of port, you know, making all the calculations. It's a lot of work, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I heard we're going to have a good party tonight, though. We are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. pirates. Are you looking pirate for a few pirates? pirates? There's four of us right here. I know. That one's lost. Yes. Nice. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. You got rejected. Oh. <laughs> you got rejected. No, no, no. You guys are good pirates. 
Okay. Right? Yes. Oh, we're good. We're so so. Oh, so, so. This, this, this one's yeah. bad, and we're all good. Yeah, we're I'm, all a little, I'm a little iffy. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about Nikki? Can you get a picture with the boys and then all of us? Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 Y
All right. For dessert, we have every single one. The tart, the banana, the flan, and the rum. We'll let you know what our favorites were in order. All right, so these were the after the results of dessert. We loved the rum cake. Well, Ben loved the rum cake. We thought the flan was pretty good. The fruit on top was probably the best part. That was the most absolute dessert. What was this one again? The macadamia nut tart with caramel and the cheesecake. Delicious. The banana dessert was really good. And the sundae, if you love tropical things, you would love the sundae. Unfortunately, they didn't love it. And what did you think about the cobbler? It was delicious. It was a warm cobbler with ice cream. Oh. We got a rogue carnival car cruise ship heading our direction. Hopefully we don't end up crashing over yonder, but they look like they're going fast and we're going fast too. Let's hope for the best. We're at a game show, a pirate's life for me. We're gonna see what this is tonight. This should be a lot of fun. Ahoy, Loving it, well, loving Emma. it. How are you? We are good. We are. are, are we good. are good. <laughs> Thank you. The one really good thing that's very helpful is uh, they actually give you reminders. So we come in, our TV says, "Remember to turn your clocks forward one hour upon retiring this evening, because we lose that hour that we gained the other day." So it's just a nice, helpful tip, so we can stay on top of every activity we want to do, like going to the pool and. Having some more fun. And here's our towel creature for the night. Some sort of voodoo priest thing. It kind of looks like Davy Jones a little bit. It's the squid. Yeah, because it's all piratey and he's got the gold coins. So they are just super talented with what they do. And they make every evening, every day magical. It's just wonderful. So we got done with A Pirate's Life. Oh, almost lost my sandal. Um, we didn't win. The Powder Monkeys didn't win. It turns out at the very end, um, he tossed in some extra coins for the extra team. Cheaters. The rats. 
So, well, it's all in the name. So, they ended up winning, which is okay. So, but um, this one over here, we're trying to go back to our room. And again, key point, look at the floor. The floor tells you which way is north. So, if you're north, follow the tips of the stars. If you are at the forward. So this one almost got us lost going the wrong direction. And I said to him, wait a minute, we're the forward. We need to be following the star points. True. We came up with an elevator we hadn't come up before, so my bad. Yes. So remember, always follow the star points. It tells you which way is the front of the ship. Good bit of info. There's Donald. Bye, Donald. Bye. 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 You be a good pirate now. I love hearing the pirate music. It is awesome. Do 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 I love hearing the pirate music. How much more pirate thing can you get if you work playing Pirates of the Caribbean? Come on now. Hopefully we'll see either Jack Sparrow or Mickey come along the uh, zip line this evening. Depends we'll on see. the wind. Is yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of happen. wind right now, Then, will they still do fireworks? They do fireworks, yeah, but if there's too much wind... Then they won't be on the zip then line. Bummer. <laughs> Is this all great? Enough! Sweet! What this celebration really needs is a great book! And now you'll have one!
All right, everybody. You just saw the uh, Pirates in the Caribbean deck party. A lot of fun. You like that one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We enjoyed uh, seeing Mickey and all that stuff. Now, for any of you who like a late night snack, the best thing to do, the moment that gets done, is head to Cabanas because they have pirate themed food, they have tacos and all those nachos, kind of things, nachos, chicken wings, different desserts, all that stuff. We made the mistake of going there one night because it's literally 10 30 at nighttime and you eat all that spicy food. We had the worst night of sleep with heartburn that one night, so we were like, no, not a good idea. Um, so, if you like that kind of food, run there now but we're going to be going to something called crazy karaoke here in 15 minutes see what that's all about all right everyone we just got done with karaoke and that was really fantastic most of all of those songs would be copyrighted because we had everything from Etta james at last to uh carl douglas's kung fu fighting and everything in between even had a dixie chick song haven't heard them in a long time yes and you even had a duo of uh, aha's take on me with captain america which was pretty interesting uh, but it was a lot of fun, really, really good time. It's late. We've had another wonderful day here on Pirate Night here in Cozumel. Mexico, but we are in the middle of... The ocean now, and tomorrow is our last full day on the ship. My hair is hot. That's okay. <laughs> and uh, it's a day at sea, so... Uh, we'll for... just be around the ship doing whatever we can do. Probably yep. some pool time. Probably some more trivia things because it's the last full day that we have here on the ship. So we're yep. just going to try to make the best of it. Yep. And then there's one more stage show. We are back at Animator's Palette for the last dinner. Yes. Um, and like I said, we have one more stage show. And um, got to pack. That's all right. We'll get to that tomorrow. But for today in Cozumel, uh, as far as we're concerned, Ben, Mayor, done, done that. that. See you tomorrow. Bye.